two more residents. Oh, he slid out. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now today, you join me in London. Now we're at a services, I think it's called South Mims, I'm not quite sure, but we are here tonight for City Smokers, Street Antics, we've got Street Shutters UK, and many other car clubs. So yeah, we are here just about on time. There are cars revving, including this police officer. He's actually just walking around. He's really cool, he's just talking to people. And uh, he's just a community service officer, so he can't really do nothing. But yeah, he's just talking to everyone, it's really cool tonight. And also, he's parked in a spot, which actually isn't a spot. It's the exit. I guess we're filming cars arriving with a deadly speed bump just there. Oh, the Dynaco Focus ST once again. This speed bump is so deadly. Wide Body 1 Series. All the crowd is going over to the car that revved, which I don't know what car that was. <laughs> oh, it's over in that direction somewhere. That is loud. That is very, very loud. We're near the car that revved, but I can't get to the car because hope one stood here. Yeah, there's no way of walking through this, is there? I'm guessing it was the Mark 4 Golf 1.8T. Uh, he gets a crowd and then he turns the car off. How disappointed. There also is an arrival of a police car in the distance just over there. Oh, this big truck's back once again. It's not even a truck, my bad. <laughs> it's a Jeep, there we go. We also have a four-door R34 just there. An arrival of a very nice BMW. Oh, the AA has just gone over the curb. Why on earth is the Fiesta driving on a footpath? I have no idea. I've also just noticed that this Astra actually has Snapchat icons on the front. So that's their Snapchat, I presume. I can't say that I've ever seen this either. I've never seen that. That's the thing when you come to London, you don't normally see many types of cars that arrive to these shows including this i've never seen that at akami either this rear brake light is actually really cool we were just walking past the bmw on the corsa and look how close they have got next to each other who knows if they're friends or not but that's quite close there's now only one police car there the other one's just gone into the petrol station or he's leaving to go somewhere else but that just leaves that one a Toyota Chaser. There is another one in there that I did miss. That's the one that was in the petrol station, right? So he's just gone round, he wants to be in the video. The car alarm that's going off in the car park has been going off for a non-stop five, 10 minutes now. It's doing my head and they keep turning it off, it keeps going off. It's so annoying. There's the other one. Being very sensible because there are blue lights just up there. Is that decatted? That is a very loud. We have a very big truck, and behind we have a very small Mark 1 MX5. Didn't see this one in here either. I was actually originally going to get a black Mark 1 MX5 and it was going to be turboed, but there wasn't one local to me. So that's a fun fact. I was going to get a turbo one. So I've just been told from this fella that there is a new location. So everyone should be heading out shortly. They're still in there. That car alarm is still going off. It's really annoying me now. He's back once again. Oh, there's the four-door R34. And the 350. We got a Mercedes C63, but check out the diffuser. Oh, my camera did focus. Has a very weird diffuser that I've never seen before. They also have the roof down, no way. Should we do a rear bumper delete on my Mark 1? I think it looks quite good when you can see the exhaust and you've got the bar there to jack it up. I feel like it looks quite smart, but it also does look very odd for anyone who's not into cars. <laughs> That has been the first person who's trying to send it and he's just realised there's blue lights up there. I didn't even see this one in there either, but check out the wing that it's got on the back. I've never seen that on a Mark 1, I don't think. Always a ducktail, but that looks very odd. The pink Astra is what we saw in the car park. A Mark V Supra in purple. That is quite a nice colour and I've never seen that before either at any car meets that I've attended. We've got a Mark 1 
Audi S3 and the Beetle Go. We got the S13 that's arriving. The S13 there, I think this has a 1J in that I've been told. We'll probably see that at the next location. Am I Billy? And then I don't understand what he said after that. M140 is in blue. I want one. I want too many cars and not enough funds. I saw this at the Empire meet not long ago. majority of the cars now the traffic has slowed down a lot another police car has just arrived but he's a traffic officer so he's not going to do much that police car is still at the roundabout we're going to head back to the car there is a new location which is about 15 minutes away from this one also we have to leave as well because it's ANPR we've only got two hours and our two hours is almost run out and it's 15 pounds to pay if you want to stay longer than two hours so it's a bit crazy so before that happens we're going to leave and we'll see you at the next location I want the white person out we've also seen someone at the window and we've also seen another person like an old man it's 10 at night this is chaos there's cars driving everywhere and here's two more residents further down the road at the roundabout, oh, we're right in a residential estate right now we're just following this mx5 in front to hopefully try and find a new location it's somewhere around here that one has been shut down by the police. We didn't even get nearby. Everyone was just turning around. What is up with these locations? We're now 20 miles away from the second location, which should have only been a 15 minute drive. We've been driving around a lot now. And we're also now at the fourth location. Well, we're nearby the fourth location, but this is getting crazy now. It's quarter to 11 at night. These residents are going to get very angry because if you look at the queue behind me, which there is a lot of cars. I know you can't see at the moment, but there are so many cars behind me. You now finally join me. We're out the car for once. We ended up going to the second location. Police got there. And then it was the third location. It was another residential. It's not a good location whatsoever. And now you join me at the fourth one in Luton. So we've driven about 25, 30 miles. Yeah, I can't even believe it's taken this long. Seriously, I've been non-stop in the car trying to find everyone and we're finally here i think this is where mostly everyone has parked the drone is up again we keep seeing drones at every single car meet but there's still cars going in oh he's letting me go cheers there's fireworks happening they're rebounding off the building over here and it sounds like you know the call of duty pack a punch guns it's exactly what it sounds like once it goes off hopefully you can hear that it sounds very odd got the m140 getting a bit crazy over here Oh my god, you can hear it. We were just inside this restaurant and you can hear it rebounding. Wow. Got the S2000 with the wing. Someone sat on a bonnet. It is so loud. Oh, someone's got a laser pointer as well. Some roof happening. Oh, it's all the BMW and Audi lot. Look at how they've all parked next to each other. And I've missed it all. Great. <laughs> I'm now going to smell a fuel. So strong back here. I thought from a distance it was a car alarm going off with all the popping and banging, but no, it's the building. It's SCS. <laughs> Also been given a sticker from the admin of City Smokers, so uh, cheers, mate. That's cool. That is. I've been on one of my cars, hopefully. Is that the Beetle that's doing that? I just completely missed it. No way. Oh. There we go. And the drone is. 
finding random things. We found an exhaust mount, we've also found a hubcap, and now we have a steering wheel cover. So that's launch control. There's revs happen over here and also over here. There's loads of things are revving at the same time. That's probably why everyone has now stopped and everyone's now jumped in their cars. Check the Mark 1 out. I hear people doing donuts over in the Sainsbury's car park. Now I've parked my car right in the middle, so if I see black donuts around my car, I'm gonna be quite mad. And a police van is in the distance there. They've gone to the wrong car park. They're coming further down. There is actually two exits out of this place. One of them's down here and the other one's on the other side of the road, which where we was earlier. So I think we're gonna take a walk down here. That's where majority cars are going. It's looking very, very low on the air ride. That's lovely. Here's the R35. Oh, he slid out. What they shout? I don't know what they just shouted, but BMW just embarrassed himself. left so is there no police cars in there now i'm pretty sure there isn't check out the wing the wing is what's doing it for me the chaser got slightly sideways there Right then, so I'm now going to end this video here. That was it for City Smokers, Street Shutters and Street Antics and about 10 other clubs. There was a big poster listing all types of clubs tonight. So yeah, it was a busy one. This was the fourth location. We went to the second one, got shut down. We went to the third one, got shut down. And as I'm on the way to all these locations, they kept getting changed. So I'm literally going back and forth. Literally, it was, it was annoying because I just kept driving. I couldn't put it in my sat nav and we're just going back and forth to different locations. But we're now in Luton. It's about an hour and a half drive home. So yeah, I'm now going to end this video here. Hopefully you have all enjoyed. If you are new to my channel, please be sure to drop a like and also subscribe. It's much appreciated. And yeah, I'll catch you all on my next video. Peace out.